Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Red Sorghum, a Chinese drama from 1987 that was directed by Zhang Yimou and stars Gong Li and Zhang Wen. Now this film takes place in the rural village in China's eastern province of Shandong during the Second Sino-Japanese War. Now it's narrated from the point of view of the protagonist's grandson, who reminisces about his grandmother, and she was a poor girl who was sent by her parents into a prearranged marriage with an old man who owned a sorghum wine distillery, and he also had leprosy. So not the best of situations for this lady, but the story goes from there. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, if I've been a subscriber to Eric's channel for years, and I, I thought he reviewed Red Sorghum a few years ago. And the answer to that question is yes. But that was the television adaptation from 2014 that starred Zhou Shun. Now today we're talking about the cinematic telling of the story from the 1980s, uh, which is also based on the same novel, I believe. So if you're familiar with this director, Zhang Yimou, it will not surprise you that there is a lot of cultural detail to this film. There's a, a wedding party scene near the very beginning where the bride is being transported in a palanquin and there's some lively discussion between the drivers and the girl. Uh, there's some traditional music that's implemented as well as some humor. I think it's a really neat, energetic way to start the film. And then later on, there are some interesting wine moments from special tastings to ritualistic drinking to splashing the wine for various purposes. Uh, pretty good stuff. Now, Zhang Yimou frequently infuses a lot of authentic content into his films, and this is especially valuable for international viewers because we get a really nice flavor for the culture that is uh, basically outside of our own, right? Cultures that we may not be familiar with as much in real life. So I like that. It's, it's pretty cool. Now, I like the character interaction at the winery as well. It's pretty interesting to see the winemaking methods and how the workers interact with the lead characters. Now, Zhang Wen is the male lead, great actor and director. I became a huge fan of him after seeing the movie Green Tea from 2003, and that also starred Zhao Wei. Still my favorite romance film of all time, and his character in Red Sorghum is very like emotional and temperamental. You're not really sure if you're going to like it much. You know what I mean? But uh, I warmed up to his character later on in the film. So Zhang Wen's uh, good in this. And then we have Gong Li, of course. In this film, she does exhibit a nice range of emotion. She gets quite a few happy moments to enjoy, which sometimes you, know, you don't see a lot from her depending on the film. So it's nice to see that here. There are a few successes that are achieved at certain points in the movie, and that's emphasized through her character's uh, reactions to these events. Like, for example, there's a point where the workers at the winery are ready to quit their jobs, but she kind of rallies the troops, so to speak, and convinces them to stay and continue. And that's, that's kind of like one of the highlight scenes for me. I like that scene. Now, the story does take kind of a sharp turn during the final half hour, which this director does do in some of his other films as well. It does get gradually more intense. And there are a few scenes that are a little bit disturbing, so I'm just uh, letting you know that, okay? It's nothing, like, exploitative or anything, but it's, it does get a little intense at times, uh, during the final half hour especially. So uh, I know some viewers may find this to be a rather abrupt change in tone, but I think it works, and this director is good enough to make it work. Now, in terms of, like, the aesthetic, the hot summer months give it, like, a sweaty, primal feel to everything. You know what I mean? You, you feel like you're in the middle of summer, you know, sweating it up, uh, you know, making wine <laughs> in this film. I like that. I like the feel. It's also pretty nicely shot with some nice use of color. You get some red at times, an occasional splash of blue, stuff like that. I mean, this director's films always look good. This isn't a surprise. So, I think Red Sorghum is one of the higher priority Chinese films from the 1980s if you're looking for like uh, just a good quality drama from a pretty highly acclaimed director. So if you're going to explore this director, I think this should be probably one of the first titles you check out actually. And it is currently available on YouTube of all places, but it's also in that Collaborations Blu-ray box set from Imprint Films that I showcased a few weeks ago. And as always... 
We will see you next time.